Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel and today I want to show you something about this new token event handler in Privacy Idea 2.17. Well, you may ask, okay, what's all the fuzz about this um, event handling thing and the token event handler? The cool thing about the event handlers is that we, the developers, do not know or do not care what your processes look like. But you, as the user or the administrator, you are able to define your processes. So to take a look at the event, handlers you need to go to the configuration and the tab events you already saw the handler module user notification which um, notifies users or can send emails or sms to the users um, with privacy idea 217 you also have a token event handler and a script event handler Today we will take a look at the token event handler, the script event handler, maybe the topic of a, a later video. Okay, so um, defining events, what this all about. When defining an event, you can select in case of which event something should happen. Events are, as you can see, the API requests. Usually events are probably the initialization of a token or the assignment of a token or um, also commonly used the authentication when a, when a token is used for authentication. This is the validate check API. So you can select several of these events and then define what should happen or first you would say which module should handle this event and then you can define the additional conditions so which means if a token is initialized the token event handler module should kick in but only if any of these preconditions fits. For example, if the logged in user is an administrator or if the serial number in this request matches a certain string or if the OTP counter of the token has a certain value or if the, for example, the authentication request or the initialization request of a token is of a special token type. And if all these conditions are met, then an action will occur. And at the moment, for example, uh, so each handler module, of course, can have different actions. The user notification module, of course, has the action send an email or send an SMS. And the token event handler module has actions on the token. So it can delete a token, disable, enable a token, it can enroll a new token or set several parameters of the token. Which means you can use this um, framework to automate your actions on tokens. So let's take a look what I have defined here. For example, I have first defined um, event definition. It kicks in in the events of the token initialization or the token assignment, but only if the token is initialized or assigned by an administrator. And well, that's the only condition. So each time an administrator enrolls a token or assigns a token, what should happen? Um, okay, the description of the token should be set to this token needs to be shipped. For example, if the help desk enrolls hardware tokens, they enroll a lot of hardware tokens and they have or they have assigned this hardware token and now they need to uh, give this hardware token to the uh, user so they can mark automatically these newly assigned 
hardware tokens in privacy idea so that they know which hardware tokens still need to be shipped to the user. Let's see how this looks like. We say enroll a new token. Well, maybe we say we have this user administrator and uh, we enroll or we would assign or enroll a token for this user. This is the normal enrollment process. In the background, without the administrator or the help desk user noticing, the event framework kicks in and has automatically set the description of this token. So as you can see, now this token has the description this token needs to be shipped. And each time I look into my token list, I can see ah, these are still the token which need to be shipped. Next event I defined was, but what happens if, for example, a user enrolls a token? Maybe in certain cases, um, I want to allow the user to enroll a token, but I don't want to allow him to um, um, to immediately use this enrolled token. So I defined this event definition here. Again, I, in case of the event token initialization, the token event handler module should kick in, but only if the locked in user is of type user. So no, not for administrators, but for users. And what should happen then? The token should be disabled, which means a user will not be able to enroll a token and use the token. Maybe you have a kind of workflow that you let the user enroll the token, but let the help desk or the administrator check if this is okay. And then the help desk has to enable the token. So this would look like this. In my case, the administrator is a normal user in this case. So the administrator logs in. You can see he has the role user and he enrolls a new token. Of course, I can limit uh, the possibilities which tokens he's able to enroll. He enrolled the token. And so let's take a look at the token. Oh, but the token is automatically disabled, which means the user cannot use this token yet. He first has to maybe contact the help desk or whatever, and the, then they will say, okay, I will enable the token for you. So next thing, I have defined a third event definition um, to delete a token. Maybe in some cases you want to delete tokens because the token is not used anymore, the token is too old, the user has left or whatever, and you don't want to pile up your uh, token database with, with remnant tokens. So um, I decided to define the event in case of validate check, in case of an authentication request. And what should happen in case of an authentication request? Um, the token from the authentication request should be deleted, but only if the following conditions are met. First, the authentication has to fail. The, th the serial number of the token should start with OAuth and the token type should be an HOTP token. And if they fail to authenticate with such token, um, the token will be deleted. So let's take a look at it. Here we have the administrator. We have the administrator has one active token. Um, I will set the token pin to HOTP. I haven't scanned the QR code, so I don't know an, uh, an OTP value anyway. HOTP was the pin I set, and I choose the OTP value 123456, which probably is the wrong OTP value. Um, the, um, the, the event handler will kick in and will delete the token. Okay, right 
I entered a wrong OTP value um, for this token here, for this token 792, but the event handler deleted this token. If I take a look at my token list, um, the administrator has only two tokens, the token 9792 was deleted and does not exist anymore. So I hope you get an idea how mighty and flexible the uh, event handler framework with the token handler module is. I think you will find many solutions and have many ideas how to use this cool framework for your automations. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.